Well, Cheryl, based on the numbers we are seeing right now, with 96% or so of the precincts reporting, the real estate transfer tax referendum known as Bring Chicago Home that you just read out loud is not looking likely to pass, but that is right now. Currently, it is trailing the no votes by about 8%, but passionate supporters of the measure in this room are not expressing defeat, much like many of the races you've heard before this. They say they are going to wait for every single mail-in ballot, and there are a lot of them still outstanding, to be counted before they figure out exactly what happens here. Now, this is a pat. This is a group known as Bring Chicago Home. It was a grassroots progressive effort built from scratch in an effort to try and create a reliable source of revenue for services and affordable housing for tens of thousands of people in Chicago who are experiencing homelessness. This measure on the ballot asked voters to weigh in on increasing the real estate transfer tax on property sales over $1 million to try and fund these support services. Mayor Brandon Johnson campaigned on this proposal, and his office estimated the transfer tax increase would generate about $100 million a year to fund these programs. Real estate developers and building owners spent millions of dollars fighting against this, saying it would raise rents and make commercial real estate suffer even more. Tonight, both sides seem to agree that no matter what happens, more work needs to be done. We're not going to give up. There are over 100,000 absentee ballots that need to be counted. Our struggle will continue. We reached out to over 300,000 households, made over 600,000 calls, sent over a million text messages. We will not give up until every vote is counted. Even if we don't win it tonight, we are in this fight until we do. Yes, we are not going anywhere. For me as a low housing, a low income housing provider, my biggest issue was um, the impact on, on my tenants. You know, I felt like it was going to cause uh, a lot of rent increases around the low income community. It was going to destabilize housing uh, for, for tenants that have been fighting to uh, have stable housing, they're paycheck to paycheck. Now, what you just heard there is very representative of what both sides were campaigning on throughout this very expensive and hotly contested race. Now, City Council needs the support of Chicago voters to be able to pass this real estate transfer tax referendum and be able to increase that property tax. But they have so far not been able to do that. They say they will wait for every single vote, and we will see what happens in the coming days. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.